Wednesday, Wednesday the 4th of March. Welcome to Gemstone Tarot. How are you? Leave me a comment. Let me know. Check out your March readings. Those are up on the channel. They're quite juicy as well this month. What do we need to know? 4th of March. 4th of March. We are using, what are we using? The Mythic Tarot, the Greek Tarot. We need some Greeks in our life. A bit of ancient Greek mythology, please. That moon card keeps coming up. Tell us about the peak of the week. Okay. Oh, the lovers. Hello, lovers. Okay. Do you remember that? That was from Sex in the City when Carrie Bradshaw used to see a pair of Manolo Blonics. Is that how you say them? Manolo Blonics? Manolos. And she used to go, she used to look through the shop window and be like, hello, lover. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. This is interesting. A little bit of a, I think we had this yesterday with a little bit of a power struggle, but a bit of, hoo, 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 hello devil, a bit of decision making, I think. Yeah. Okay. Overall energy card, the page of cups. This is the gorgeous Narcissus. I think that's how you say it. He fell in love with his own reflection. It's actually a very beautiful card, isn't it? Page of Cups, and I want to have a look what's underneath it, actually. Yes! The Eight of Swords is underneath it. There's Apollo and the snaky-haired Gorgon ladies. And it's a trap of sorts, the Eight of Swords. It's being stuck in a bit of a mental prison and your own kind of limiting beliefs. And I want, I don't know why, but I don't normally do this. Two of Pentacles, Jupiter in Capricorn, the side gig, the juggler, the... <laughs> whatever that is, me doing a juggle. I'm very bad at juggling, okay? But some people are good at juggling. This is an offer of some kind. It may have come in sometime recently. It may have come in in this kind of retrograde and it may feel a bit sort of unfinished. We've got the lovers. And as we know, the lovers used to be called the choice, okay? Here's Paris choosing between three women, Athene, Aphrodite and Helen of Troy, okay? He's got an apple. We all know if someone's got an apple, it means business in the tarot. And he's not the only person to be bearing a piece of fruit or vegetable here, okay? Because look, the high priestess, Persephone, she's got a pomegranate. Just saying, we've got a pomegranate, we've got an apple. And the queen of pentacles, we've got a big bunch of grapes. Now, I don't mind a big bunch of grapes, because they are usually quite lucky in most things. If you see sort of grapes on a vine, it means things are growing, the homestead is growing, or there's prosperity. You know, there's often grapes in the Ten of Pentacles. And also, likewise, with the pomegranate. The pomegranate is the fruit of downstairs. It's the fruit of the subconscious. And the reason that Persephone is holding this pomegranate is because... She has um, been down to the underworld where Hades kidnapped her. And here is the land where Demeter lives, the empress. That's her mother. And her mother goes into mourning for three months of the year because Demeter makes all the crops grow. It's making my nose run. Demeter makes the crops grow. And for nine months, which is the gestation period, Persephone lives above the line with her mum and for three months Persephone has to go down under the contract because she ate a bit of pomegranate and stay with Hades and Demeter goes into mourning and that's when we have winter okay I know we love the Greek mythology come come now right so the lovers used to be called the choice and it feels like there's an offer because we've got the page of cups and it feels like there's some going down below um, psychologically speaking, of course, okay? And retrieving some kind of knowledge which will help you make this decision. Be aware that the devil is in the detail and in the reading. It's a Capricorn card and the two of pentacles is Jupiter in Capricorn. 
The devil is also temptation and it's what you're bound by. Something contained within this offer and it could be a job certainly and it could be a generous offer as well. It could come from a friend or here we are with the three of cups which is the socialising card. It could come from a group or a friend perspective. It could seem attractive. The six of pentacles It's generosity. You know, this guy is um, being munificent and he's giving away pentacles and he's generous, you know. It can be a little windfall. It can be a tax rebate, but I'm not getting that vibe for this reading. Sorry. The vibe I'm getting for this reading is it's a deal of some kind. It could be romantic. It could be work, but it's a deal. Okay, the King of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles are next to each other. You can see from the temperature of the card that these are very different folk. She's got a bunch of grapes, he's got a sword, okay? She looks happy where she's at, she's got the pentacle, the grass is growing, he's in this arid, kind of blue, frozen out landscape. He is the details, he can represent um quite stiff management at work you can represent what we call jobs worth people you know it would be more than my jobs worth to bend the rules for you that kind of person then we have the eight of wands okay now eight of wands is a card i watched david attenborough again last night actually and <laughs> which this is obviously my david attenborough mime it's because i watched dolphins do the the dolphin thing where they go ping tiddly 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 wing like that there is nothing better than the joy and glee of a dolphin doing a corkscrew twist again and again because they can okay it absolutely warmed my cockles i have to say so eight of wands done my little dolphin the eight of wands is something coming in and it's <laughs> it's communication it's information but it's got the devil right next to it and it's got generosity, it's got the high priestess. You need to dig deep on this decision, okay? You might not even know it's a decision yet. This, of course, time being, you know, fluid and all that stuff, may just be bobbing about. It may just be knocking around, okay? But it's in the ether. Let's dip into a bit of Brian and Wendy Frude to see what they have to say. Oh, I love that card. <laughs> how interesting is that yeah okay itchy nose the queen of sorrows this is somebody who lives in a cloak of sorrow and it affects her it's a bit like the rocks it's somebody who i think if you're dealing with somebody here you need to consider if you can and it may take more of a kind of psychic perspective than a rational one where they're coming from with what they're offering okay Where's it coming from? Is it coming from a place of lack or a place of manipulation or self-interest? I don't know. The Queen of Passage. That's interesting because she's holding a pomegranate. And I know it looks like she's ripped out someone's beating heart, but it's a pomegranate because I looked it up. I used to think it was a heart. Kestrel and a raven are here, okay? Birds of Passage and Communication, I think. I know that from Game of Thrones. And the child, which is one of my favourite, favourite cards. Now this for just one or two of you could be to do with a child or a baby or a pregnancy. But for others of you, you need to take the child's perspective. Out of the mouths of babes comes the enlightened truth, but they don't even know where it came from. That's not a quote, by the way, because that would be quite a bad quote. But it's that whole, the out of the mouths of babes bit is a quote. It's that innocent wisdom, okay? This isn't a wisdom where you um, stew on it and think about it and do a spreadsheet about it. This is where you, to be honest, I suppose it's Joseph Campbell, and this is a quote, follow your bliss. If it, yes, if it feels good, follow it, okay? With that devil card, if this feels a bit off, act accordingly, it's a bit off. And then Wisdom of the Oracle, Colette Baron reed we get the Blessed Prawn. I love a Blessed Prawn. We love the Blessed... Blessed? The Blessed Plawn. The Blessed Plawn. Okay, we all know I can't speak in this moment in time. The Blessed Plawn. 
Let's have a healing with the angels card. Do subscribe to the channel and hit the wiggly bell. It's down there or it's down there and it needs to be like this. It needs to be mid disco in order for you to be informed of new readings, random love readings, which there is one just up. Study. This might be about an opportunity to study. It might be money towards studying. It might be that you need to study the situation, but do it via the kind of rainbow arc, not via the noggin. Okay, see you soon. Namaste.